Let's talk about one more way we can think about types of information, objective and subjective. Objective information presents all sides of the story in a balanced way. It is based on fact and can be proved to be true. Subjective information is an analysis of the facts and is often based on opinion, beliefs, or judgment. It's influenced by any lens through which we see the world. However, you have probably noticed that most information isn't as neatly compartmentalized as Martha Stewart's kitchen drawers, but falls somewhere in a gray area between two extremes of complete objectivity and complete subjectivity. We know that marketing materials and news reporting often presents information inflected by a particular point of view. Peer-reviewed journal articles are scientifically accurate and yet may reflect a bias inherent to a discipline. A press release can be factually true, yet not as objective as if the same information were presented by a neutral third party. But just because information isn't 100% objective, and really what information is, that doesn't make it invalid. You just have to pay close attention to its purpose and intended audience, and the CRAAP test helps you do this. To complicate matters further, important information is often expressed negatively by the information that's excluded from the picture. For example, we expect a road map to be objective, right? Well, when I was traveling in South Africa a few years ago, I saw that outside of every town there's a township that was established when the country was under apartheid rule. The townships are basically separate towns with their own names, but only the names of the white towns appear on the road maps. The legacy of apartheid persists in the supposedly objective road maps by making the townships invisible. This is an example of the objectivity of an information source being compromised by what is not included. At the end of the day, evaluating information is about more than just separating fact from fiction. The most important thing is to use good critical thinking skills to dig deeper into whether the information will be appropriate for your academic research.